Okay, back to Monday morning. Same position, same hat, same coat, same walk. I <laughs> um, hope everybody had a lovely weekend. Um, I think it actually might have rained again last night. Um, the ground seems very wet today, but we need it, so no complaints here. Just in case it's not raining now, because um, that would be quite miserable. Um, yeah, so this week, hopefully, there should be more happening in the UK, weather permitting. Um, I will have to explain to you why I've kind of come to a halt in the front room with the ceiling bits and pieces. Um, but I'm hoping to do a few other, a few other things this week. So yeah, let's just jump straight into it. Let's just, let's just go, shall we? Thanks for watching guys. Please remember to like and subscribe and um, yeah, thanks ever so much. So just a quick explanation as to why I have not proceeded to take those two pieces out up there. Um, as you can see, I went along there. That was the hardest wall I actually did ended up smacking into the, um, oh, I don't know what you'd call it, the outside of the, the shells. But this is why I am not continuing on. As you can see, I don't know if you can see the dirt on there. Things are falling through the holes off the ceiling. I don't fancy taking them down from up there because my sofa is there and I will end up with bits falling on me so I'm not going to do that I have spoken to Peter and he has said um, the minute he comes back we can take that down and then he can actually re plaster or collar or whatever it is we're doing to the ceiling in here so yeah that's why it's not been finished I don't fancy having things fall on me every five minutes and this chair here gets cleaned every day so it falls a lot, especially with this wick that we've been having outside. So yeah, in case people were wondering, that is why. And Paco has just gone through the gate with the tractor, with Lassie. And the sun is just starting to poke up, lovely. actually believe it is 7.42 in the morning. This is Tuesday morning. It is 17 degrees. Oh, I just can't believe it. It is actually quite warm. Well, as you can see, 17 degrees. Let's get these poochies walked. Oh my goodness. This sunrise just gets better and better. I don't know if the colours really come off, but there's oh, the deepest of pinks, oranges, peaches, even down to lilacs, ah, oh, it is magnificent, absolutely magnificent. But enough of that, dog walk it is.
Hi guys. A lot of traffic noise around here. We're on the main road, but we've had to hire the tower for another three or four days. The weather has been really bad. And Zolly's up there now. Doing all the, uh, the last bits of painting. We've still got to do the back guttering and roof, etc. Um, but yeah, we're, we're getting on with it now. So it looks like it's sunny up the top there, but down here it's quite chilly. Zolly's working up in the sun up there. Doing a lovely job. This corner's got the undercoat on. Just working on the middle section now. These old Victorian houses are really tall. It's only a small house, but it's very tall. Let's see how we get on. on his poor face and um, something snapped uh, a bolt snapped or something actually on the tractor later and Paco is still going closely being monitored by uh, Lobo obviously so yeah hopefully his face will be okay but yeah he's still going it's been since 7 o'clock this morning Okay, the front is officially finished now. It's all done, guttering, painted and everything. It's looking really nice. A few things we've got to do. Um, 
we need a new front door traffic is really loud around here we need a new front door to finish it off and then we're gonna relay this path do a proper path okay um Paco has just literally left. Um, time was 4.27 when he actually left. Um, but let me show you exactly what has actually happened today. Not to mention um, Paco had a bit of a uh, injury. The one on his forehead here, one on his nose here. Um, and he also cut his hand, so. Yeah, but let, let me show you the bits that actually went wrong right, today. I'm not too sure if you guys can see, but if you can see the, I don't know, but it's not a screw, I don't know what you'd call it, an, a bolt. Um, the, the big one, let me just show you this side, broke, it bent and broke, so it came off. Paco and I were literally rifling through Peter's, um, well, his stores basically, his man shed trying to find something and we've come up with that that's not ideal we will have to replace that but yeah so that was one problem and oh hello you two hello should have known you guys wouldn't be too far away hey Vivian. okay and the window's gone that's how Paco's face got um got hurt basically I think one of the olive trees over there I don't know which one the branch just went straight through the window so yeah we will obviously replace the window we do have the the bit here to go around the outside we've actually got that so it's just a case of replacing the window so yeah wiped it all down and um yeah bless him i'm hoping he'll come back again in uh i think it's the end of april beginning of june so abril or junio but the huerta looks absolutely fantastic. Absolutely. I mean, unbelievable. Eight hours of working in today's heat. As you can see, there's not a cloud in the sky now. Um, 23 and a half, 24 degrees. It's been a long day for him, bless him. He's going home now to have a nice shower and get cleaned up. But I just want to say muchas gracias Paco para todos. Muchas, muchas gracias. Okay, so the front is finished, apart from the path and the door. Mm. Sorry, but what we're going to yeah. do now is, <laughs> cheers, have, have a cup of tea or coffee. <laughs> then we're going to build the, the tower. tower. Again. Again, yeah. It stopped raining at last. <laughs> in so much rain, isn't it? Yeah. So it much is. rain. But what we're going to do is we're going to build the tower here. Again, it's quite, quite a tall building. That's high quite a tall building and we're going to get up to the guttering there and I do believe the guttering is here it's old and it's cast iron it's broken leaking and everything so we're gonna to have to cut that out and um, replace it with the 
plastic um, replacement guttering. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be. It is gonna be fun. Yeah. Meanwhile, we're having a coffee. It's the PVC fascia going on. As Ollie's fixing that on there. Taking the old metal guttering down. It's like tin or aluminium or something, but it was in a pretty bad way. Okay, today um, I'm gonna have a little go at cleaning this lot, little lot up. All brambles, old, an old tree, a couple of old trees. Um, see if I can get it a bit clearer. This is at the bottom of the garden. Okay, well, I made a bit of a start. Not much though. Um, it's mostly brambles. Um, and the little thorns are really, really sharp. Even going through the gloves. But there's an old tree through there as well. As well as a load of rubbish, an old fridge. And we've still got further further down as well um, but I'm trying to separate it into these larger logs which I can cut up for firewood and some metal bits and pieces this can take a little while this is
Okay, the fascia is all on. Now he's just putting the gutter in on that middle section. Just got one more piece to do up the top there. Then the tower can go back. Hopefully we get it done before it rains. It looks like looks like rain. So just that last little piece up there, about there. That's it. And then we're done for the day as well. Yeah. Last piece going up. Yeah. Nearly done. Good. And the tower can go back. These are the old cast iron bits. Didn't really want to break that, but look how that was blocked like that. The cast iron downpipes, and this one here, which is quite a long piece, a couple of meters, it's actually blocked literally from there most of the pipe is blocked I think on this side yeah I can see in there about to here that is absolutely blocked full of moss and even this little piece here is blocked so it was it was well overdue to be honest okay Thursday morning um <laughs> favorite part of the day again for me I'm just walking these two before I go and help up at the dog shelter. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching it. And if you've reached this part, thank you very much for sticking with it. <laughs> um, a lot more has been done in the UK, I think, because the weather's been dry enough to actually get videos and things like that. So that's amazing. It's lovely to see the progression on the house. So that's cool. This week, I haven't really done an awful lot in the house myself. Um, hoping to start some something for this next video. That all depends on whether or not Sam can actually help me do it. So he's gonna take a look today and uh, tell me what he thinks. So yeah, keep you posted on that one. But thank you ever so much, guys. I hope you've had a lovely few days and um, We'll catch you in the next one. So thanks ever so much for watching. See you next time.